Hi, I'm Billy. I'm Charlotte. And, and we're, we're from, from the Subways, Subways, and you're watching Music Channel. One like you. You know what they call a real rock and roller? Rock and roller? Rock and roller. I think rock and roller was definitely um, great for us, and we've been lucky to have our songs used in, in a lot of TV and film series, and I think it's awesome. I think rock and roller in particular, because we performed in the film, a lot of people saw that film who'd never heard of us before, and it was distributed worldwide in countries we've never been to, and still now we get people coming up to us and saying, oh, I first discovered you because I saw that scene in rock and roller, and that's awesome for us. Any way that people can discover our music, Brilliant. Plus, we got to be in a Guy Ritchie movie. And we got to go to the premiere, which is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> like a fool, I'm failing, falling. In a web, I'm trapped and calling. We started out um, writing and recording our own music in our parents' kitchen. <laughs> um, we had a, a tiny little music desk um, and we recorded, I remember actually recording 1am. Um, and um, when Charlotte was doing her vocals, leaning through this tiny little hatch between the kitchen and the lounge and sort of yelling at her to sing. We recorded all our own CDs. I, I think we recorded maybe seven CDs, all with uh, three songs on each, and we used to send those CDs out to all the, all the venues in London and book as many gigs as we possibly could. I do think that kind of the adverts and the commercials that have used our, our songs, we think that's great. Um, until this record, we've not had much radio play, so um, kind of having our songs on an advert is a great way for people to, to hear the music if it's not going to be on the radio. Really just like a child. Is it heaven or is hell waiting? And we do sometimes yeah. do surprise gigs. Um, um, if like kind of a few times a year maybe or something, it's kind of they're normally quite good fun. Like a lot of the time, it's an acoustic show, which is yeah. it's quite good to fun to do something totally different. We love just turning up with uh, two acoustic guitars and Josh with his uh, shakers. We just play maybe ten songs and then disappear. Um, I think the term really started out with um, bands like um, In Spiral Carpets and Oasis and Blur and all those kind of bands who um, who were pop sounding but weren't pop. You know, they were alternative, they were guitar bands and at the time it was not very cool to be in a guitar band um, in the UK and so um, the the rock and roll bands that were coming through as popular but were guitar bands were referred to not as pop music but as indie music because they were on indie labels. Now I think what we call indie is just known as alternative or guitar music, you know, rock music. But yay, yeah, hip hop could be indie because it comes out on an independent label. And I just can't hate there are less and less of them now. You know, there are less of the Madonnas, there are less of the Green Days, there are less of the, you know, huge multi-million selling artists nowadays. I mean, if you look at the, um, the chart history and that kind of thing, you'll see that maybe 10 years ago, 200,000 record sales a week would have got you in the top five, whereas now it will keep you at number one for 14 weeks, you know? Um, so it's, it's a completely different industry and um, I think the what used to be indie is now the popular music, is now the cool music, is now the, the new wave. 